This short video explains how to add sound and video to your gallery by attaching either of these media to an artwork using the fourth tab. Useful tips beforehand. Media in the fourth tab needs to be unlocked for your account. Your fourth tab in the artwork upload needs to look like this. If not, please contact us. Sound and video are both uploaded here. If you want to add sound to a single artwork, load your MP3 file here. In this case, the artwork size proportion is not important. If your video contains sound, please integrate this into the MP4 file before upload already. Keep your sound and video files really compressed. Have an extra look at the FAQ article and keep loading delays in mind. The smaller your media files are, the faster the whole gallery will load. Best supported video codec is H.264 MPEG-4. Videos using H.265 will not be displayed correctly on various devices. The files must be less than 128 megabyte in size. The allowed file types are MOV and MP4. Have a cover JPEG prepared. All three elements here need to have the same proportions. The actual video file, the cover JPEG and the artwork dimensions in the first tab. The JPEG is needed as a still before the video runs and for the catalog and your artwork manager. When creating the actual artwork, fill in the first tab with all the usual information and keep the proportions in mind. Upload the JPEG still image in the first tab and then proceed to the fourth tab for the sound or video file. Load your MP3 for sound or MP4 file for video in the form and save all of this with the green button. Proceed to the exhibition to test it in there. You can adjust the player radius in the field below for both audio and video. If you want the player only to be activated by the viewer with a button and not start the medium by a distance activation, leave the player radius blank. Save with the green button. You can also test and edit this in the exhibition. Reload the exhibition page afterwards to see the changes. If you are looking to give the entire room an ambient sound, that's done in the room editor. We hope this tutorial was helpful. Please make sure to check out all of our how-to tutorials. And in case you can't find what you're looking for, you can always contact us via the contact form on our website. Feel free to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss any new tutorials.